Hey everybody, it's Twiggy. I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as I upload a video and welcome to this craziness I call my Bath and Body Works channel. Basically, I do hauls of Bath and Body Works. I use pro I do project use it ups um, for Bath and Body Works. I haven't shot one of those in a while, but I am trying to use up some of my products so that at Summer SAS I have some room for some new stuff. I'm really good on soaps and other stuff, so it's probably going to be just like, probably more of this stuff because I really like this um, body care line. Um, and that's really about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I do Bath and Body Works hauls. I do Old Navy hauls, Barnes and Nobles hauls. I do um, basically anything I think that uh, you guys would like to see that I'm hauling at that time or like stuff I bought that I want to show you guys. That's what I do. Um, I'm a little annoyed with my store. One of my stores. One of my stores I placed and I, like, I just filmed that video. And I'm supposed to have 13 items. I paid for 13 items. I got 12. Never got a cancellation order form. Nothing. Never, never got it canceled. Store had the product in. So I don't know why I didn't get the item. So a little annoyed. Um, called customer service. They gave me the runaround. Um, called my store. They gave me the runaround. We're super rude. So I just um, messaged them on Facebook and was like, hey, what's going on? Because this is kind of pissing me off. This is not the first time that's happened to me. And like, figure it out. So I ended up calling my other store that I really like, where all the girls and the managers I know work that are really nice to me and understand like my anxiety and like I don't like going out in public all that often. And they had the item that I ordered that I paid for that I didn't get. So they're like, hey, just like, I'll put it aside and you can come pick it up. I was like, cool, thank you. Um, but yeah, so I placed another order. Well, I didn't really place another order. I got another bag because this is why you can't let me go into a store. Um, but like I said, I... Okay, in the past couple days, all this stuff you've seen me, like, um buy I did not pay for myself I had gift cards um so don't think I like all of a sudden went on a random ass really expensive spending spree because I know my significant other's family sometimes watches my videos I did not get all these by myself like not my own money I think I paid a total out of all this orders um I paid $30 out of pocket like my own money so the rest was gift cards so um I saved on this purchase $37.68. My total with tax was $41.30. So let's get into this. I did get another of this kitchen mandarin because like I told you guys in like four videos ago because I've been filming almost two videos a day. Um, I wanted to get another like kitchen mandarin because I thought I bought two yesterday when I got it because it was $3.50. Um, and I wanted something different for my kitchen other than kitchen lemon because kitchen lemon has a weird chemical smell after the, like you pump it and I don't really like it. So I figured kitchen mandarin, it's still kind of citrusy um, and it might work to get rid of like shrimp smell or like fish smell like when you're cooking with it, like on your hands. And I just like it because it's kind of like fruity but it's more like, like, I don't know, kitchen kind of fruity, not like bathroom every day fruity. So I got that um, for my kitchen when I'm done using the winter citrus wreath. And then I just basically, this is the scent that I was missing. I knew I ordered two of them and I only got one. So I picked it up, which is raspberries and whipped vanilla. I love this smell. It smells really good. So I added that. So now I have three of them, which is awesome. I did also pick up another champagne toast, so I have two of them. Because I think what I did have, at one point, I think I did have a champagne toast other than the one I just, you know, hauled in my previous video. And I think I used it up, and I just never bought another one. Because when they went up to $8.50, I was like, nope, this girl ain't buying it. So they were $3.95, so I picked up another one. Um, because I do like champagne toast. I actually sprayed it in my kitchen a little bit ago because I just wiped down the counters with bleach and it just smelled really bad because I don't like the smell of bleach. And then I did pick up two more Palo Santos. Santo. I just like this smell. It's I love the candle. It's a very masculine smell. But I don't know. It kind of... 
I think I like this smell because it kind of smells like my grandpa Tom, his house. And I just remember his house when I was a kid and like my grandpa had this certain cologne and like face wash and hand like wash he used and it made his whole house smell like this and I don't know what the smell was but it smells really good and I like it. So and my grandpa um, passed away when I was like in college. I want to say I was in college when he died. He died of lung cancer. So um, and we didn't really get along that well towards the end because um, he was kind of like, I don't know, having health issues and got kind of grouchy. I did pick up another iced dragon fruit tea because I figured I needed another one. I just really like the packaging in it too. And like I figured when I go camping, well, it's not really camping. When we go to the family like reunion this year, because we now just call it a family reunion because we no longer are glamping or camping. It's like really nice condos that I like staying in in Door County. I really like going to Door County. So I like going there. Um, I walk to the same coffee shop every morning religiously, like sometimes twice a day, depending on how much caffeine I need. Or if like somebody's out doing something and I'm by myself, I don't like sitting around when I'm on vacation. So I usually go explore the town or find somewhere to get some food and then walk back up the hill. Um, so I did a lot of walking. Next year though, I think I'm gonna pack a backpack so I can wear a backpack and like pack my groceries and like what I buy into the backpack so it's easier for me to travel because it was really hard last year going up the hill with like all my groceries and trying to balance everything. It just did not work out very well. Um, but yeah, so then I got two more of the vanilla peach tea. It basically just smells like um, peaches and cream to me, which is really good. I like it. It smells awesome. And then because, you know, we're still dealing with pandemic stuff, um, I wanted to get another, like, different scents, but they only had, like, a couple that I liked. So I just got five more of the Raspberry Tangerine. And I really do like the smell, so I want to put it on my hand. I love raspberry tangerine. I hope they bring it back in body care again this year because I need to stock up. I need like eight of those sprays and like 12 of the shower gels because I really, really do love it. And I really am kicking myself in the ass that like two semi-annual or two, yeah, two semi-annual sales last summer's semi-annual sale. I did not stock up or last winter's, not this past winter, but like two winters ago. They had it and I did not stock up on it because... For some dumb reason, I was like, hmm, it's just okay. And then, you know, like, dummy me towards the end is like, oh, I love it. And then I can't find it because everyone else realized, hey, we love this smell. It smells amazing. And then I'm like, hmm, everybody and their brother bought it. Now I can't find it. And I'm not about to pay, like, $32 on Macari. No. Not that crazy about it. But, yeah, that's my um, extremely little tiny haul. I was not expecting to buy more. I was literally just going to the store for this. And then I was like, well, they're $3.95. I better get some more because they're $3.95. And uh, I, have, I haven't I have had a lot of new ones. And they don't go bad. So I can store them somewhere for a while and then um, use them up. I should actually go through this and pull out the winter ones and store those and then put the summer ones slash spring ones in here so that my basket isn't overflowing because right now it's like overflowing sitting next to me. It looks like, like literally this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can get it without it falling. Because this is what my basket looks like. <laughs> so I have to organize it because it sits above my toilet so you can grab an air freshener and spray. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys are doing well and uh, leave comments below. I do like reading them. It's, it cheers me up on my bad days. I've been doing okay. My anxiety was a little high today because I had to do tax returns and that was like anxiety ridden. And my grandma is just like really obnoxious and we've gotten an argument today. So I just like hung up on her because I was like, I don't need to hear it. I was like, I'm just, I'm too stressed to deal with that today. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying the weather wherever you may be. Um, the weather here is crappy. It was like 70 degrees like two days ago and it is now freezing, cold, rain, and snow all wrapped up in one. Um, so I, I'm just kind of like hermiting in my house. 
But I'm going to go put all my Bath and Body Works away now and clean, finish cleaning up the house. And yeah, relax, play a little bit of video games, and then go to bed early tonight because I'm really tired and I have work the next five days. So I have to be all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and friendly and not bright-eyed, bushy-tailed and grumpy. So I'm trying to be, like, more friendly and not attitude -y. It's very hard sometimes. But love you all. See you soon. Bye.